Good morning preps. It's time for Tuesday and we're doing subtraction again and we're going to use those teen numbers. Now today I thought we'd have a look at making some cat subtraction ones because you saw the cat subtraction video that you've just watched. Now they use smaller numbers than we're going to use but I liked it just as a good introduction and how we're going to use cats today but we're also going to use counters to help us and the number lines and the pictures. So come in Mrs S we're going to have a bit of a look here. I think I'm going to draw, uh, let's say, 14 cats. 14 cats. 14 cats. You can be the crazy cat lady oh, then. Oh, I already am. I've got three. <laughs> I just need to get a bit older and a few more and I'll be there. Mrs. S. Yep. <laughs> I've only got one. So oh, I'm not you quite see, there. you're nowhere near my crazy cat lady status. <laughs> Does it count if you've got like eight goats? <laughs> One, it two, might. three. You're a crazy goat lady. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Four, uh, five. I like to draw them in five because then I can super ties. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like it. So you've got five, and then six. And that always helps us, the super ties. Seven, eight. Well, cats are way easier to draw than piranhas. Yes. Nine. <laughs> I have to draw those big teeth. That's what it, that was the problem. <laughs> 10. And I know there's 10 because we've got five and five and we knew That's that right. from our addition. So we're doing very well. 10. I'm doing 14, aren't I? Yes. 11. 12. 13. 14. There we go. We've got 14 cats. And we're going to do our subtraction with our cats, the subtraction cat. Mm. So, 14. Now, remember, if you're not sure how to write your numbers, you can count on from 10 and make sure you've got it. And make sure you get it around the right way, because even though you're at home, you have to get your numbers around the right way. Now, we are doing the subtraction or the taking away. And I think we're going to do five. So, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Now, we can also use our counters to help us at this stage too, because we can go, we can get 14, doing the same thing that we've done with our drawing there. We can make sure, so I know I've got five, one, two, three, four, five, and then another five, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I've got 14 there. So I can do the same. I can do, we did this last week a bit, but now we're using bigger numbers, so we might need to do it again. I was going to take away five. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm. How many does that leave us with? Well, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. Let's make see if there's five. There's nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. Oh, now I've missed out a step in the uh, in the in the sentence Ooh, here. What did you miss? What did I miss there? What was I taking away, preps? Maybe you could count the crossed out ones. And make sure. That's right. I think one, two, three, four, five. That's so we were taking five away from 14 and we had nine left. And again, remember, you can do that this way. You can go 14 and then take five away. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. We've got nine there, nine there, nine there. Wow, that's a good way of checking. It is a good way of checking. Once you're using the bigger team numbers, it might be a good idea to use counters. And if you don't have counters at home, remember you can use your blocks or you can use um, shoes or you can use pencils. pencils, anything that you've got that you can get collections of. You can get leaves out of the garden, flowers, or don't take flowers. Mum and Dad might not like that. <laughs> leaves um, anything that you can use to count with but remember you're going to be drawing eventually your subtraction cats and please try and use teen numbers okay preps and i'll see you tomorrow bye